Hello all my fishy friends and welcome back to another Stay Fishy Adventure. Today we got a good one in store and oh my god, look at this place. Out here in one of the most beautiful places in the world, we have an absolute disaster. What is wrong with people? Well, at least they left them a name tag. Nuggets Masonry LLC. Hate to say it, but let's send some hate mail everybody. I might be sending a, a very special and strong worded message to uh, the owner of that sweatshirt because I showed up to this amazing camp that I've been scouting out for a very long time and it was absolutely trashed. Ew. But anyways, on a lighter note, here we are out on another adventure and we have an amazing trip planned for you guys. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a 36 hour adventure out here in some of the most beautiful country in the world. No more than me, my little man, and of course, Oda Dog. But first things first, let's get this mess cleaned up. Yikes. Oh, raspberry donuts, my favorite. Dill pick chips. Southern cut, marb, classy. Didn't even take the battery box. Shotgun shells. Another cheap cigarette pack. Interesting. The infamous sweatshirt. Sorry. No defamation of character, but whoever you are, <clears throat> you deserve a little hazing and a little bit of shame. Because this is ridiculous. Not a room in the, the old boat bucket, but I guess there is a bright side. At least they left the garbage bag for us. And score full can of penetrating fast acting WD 40. Doesn't even look like it's been activated. Can't complain about free river baby, that's for sure. Our good deed is done and I think it goes without being said we all know the hippy dippy spiel I'm about to give but you know what I'm gonna do it anyways and the reality of it is is guys mother nature is one of the most beautiful things that we have available to us human beings the least you can do is give back a little bit and at the very least pick up your garbage respect the outdoors and respect the amazing beauty that we get to enjoy in this world by the simple fact of leaving the place that you enjoyed better than you found it, doing your part to give back as much as you can to mother nature, whether it's enjoying the resource, going fishing, not over harvesting or overtaking, but simple fact of all, cleaning up after yourself. It breaks my heart to see stuff like this, and it's pretty obvious to see it was probably a bunch of kids. So for all you guys out there, for all you adults, all you youth, everybody that likes to go out and enjoy the outdoors, don't trash it, have some respect, and leave your place better than you found it. And do whatever you can to show your appreciation for this amazing world that we get to live in. The irony of it all is look at the beauty that we get to enjoy after cleaning up such a mess. It's time to have some fun. All right, highlight. The fun has to wait still because we need to build our camp. We're being responsible in this episode. We're gonna find ourselves a nice sleeping area before we go find ourselves dinner. And now that we have such a clean landscape and a beautiful place to stay for the night, I think this is going to be our spot. What do you think, bud? You like this spot? What do you think? Is this the spot? Is that the spot? Maybe over here. I think right here is perfect. What would life be without our cot? What do you think, bud? Pretty hot out here. What a cool camp. Let's see those comments below on what you think of the spot. This is an area that I've been wanting to camp in for a very long time, mainly for the fishing, of course, obviously. It fits the name, Stay Fishy Adventures. We have to stay fishy on these adventures. And somewhere out there, there is dinner. Swimming around, happy with their life, but unfortunately, about to be eaten. Let's grab the sleeping bag, unload some firewood, then it's time to go find some food. Oh boy. I think it's time for a new cod, everybody. 
but she'll do. It'll fit a big guy and two dogs, that's for sure. Wow. I'm not sure that this is what I think it is, but I think it is what I think it is. And that's an eagle feather. Very, very special. Not sure, honestly, if I'm even supposed to be touching the darn thing right now. These things are protected under uh, indigenous rights and not something that you're allowed to take from the place that you find them. So I'm gonna put this thing in a special spot to kind of bless the camp for the night and leave it right where I found it. So pretty. Seems like the right spot. Kind of a dream catcher of sorts. Perfect. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. And I think all I'm gonna need is my trusty addictive jig and addictive float and my homemade twitching jig. All right, we might need this entire bag of fishing gear too, but we won't talk about that. Up river we go. Ooh, that was poop. Nature. Couldn't even take the Quaker Raptor home. Or the Premier Protein. Do you even lift, bro? Or the crawlers. I mean, come on. And I mean, hydration is key, but at what cost? Well, look who decided to join us. The whole family's made it. And we have stumbled on what I like to call a fishy situation. We have this incredibly beautiful crystal clear, pure mountain stream. And something is telling me that dinner is in there. Only one way to find out. Let's get to fishing. Okay, we're gonna start off with the jig this time. What I have here is my home tied sculpin pattern. Redhead. Everybody loves a redhead. Let's see what this thing can do. We're swimming, we're swimming. We're enjoying ourselves. We're living our lives. Come and eat me. Nope, no takers. That wall is where we want to be. No takers. Okay, no takers on the sculpin. I think we go to the old faithful pink jig. That's dinner. That's dinner. Come on, baby. Oh my God, he came off. <sighs> Fish number one got away, but it's hard to complain fishing in a spot like this. This is such an incredible setting. And I have a good feeling we're gonna find some dinner here. So let's get back in there. Maybe it'll only take one more cast. Cross your fingers, everybody. This ought to do. Okay, so far the creek has not panned out. We lost one fish that easily could have been dinner. But we gave this spot where we caught this last fish, our little honey hole, a little hole rest. So we're gonna go back down here, try a different tactic, try a different lure. And if that doesn't work out, on to plan B.
He is. Got him. Yes. Please stay on there. I don't like this angle. He's way down there. And he's aggressive. He's a wild animal. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's a really nice fish. Riddle's excited. He knows what's going on. He knows, he knows dinner is relying on this fish. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh, my God. He came off. Right at the bank. That one hurt. That was a good fish. That would have fit the whole family here tonight. Oh. Just got to keep trying, I guess. Oh, God. What is this? This is bigger than I think. What do we have here? Oh, my goodness. What is this, everybody? Oh, my God. My heart is pounding. My heart is pounding. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Yes. Yes. Look at this beauty. Of course. Unfortunately, this is a fish we cannot keep. You can tell here where we're fishing here today, we can only keep hatchery trout. And this one here is a monster, but it is indeed a wild trout. It has that adipose fin right there by the back of the tail. But oh my goodness, have a look at her. Okay, we're gonna let him go do his thing. See you later, buddy. <sighs> Bittersweet, first fish to hand. By far the biggest one we've hooked so far but not one that we can eat for dinner. That was awesome. And once again, just, just look where we're at. Have a gander. You just look at it. That was awesome. Well, we're the adversary. It would seem that today the fish won the Battle of the Creeks, but Thanks to the advancements of human technology, we have options. And that option, boat. So let's get in the boat and go get dinner. to look like it's not what the rod's supposed to look like when the screen looks like that all right everybody it's crawdaddy time and we've made our way back in to the secret crawdad cove i got my trap ready here this is my plastic bottle buoy Crawdad trap and our bait of choice for tonight's endeavor is nothing less than some really, really old cat food that's been sitting in my backyard for probably two years. Should do the trick. Nothing like using some disgusting bait to catch a delicious meal. It really is the whole food chain challenge cycle. I'm just gonna crack that lid like that, open the little bait container up. Should drop right in there just like that. real trick here is to not get any of this stuff in the bottom of the boat. That should do the trick. Oh yeah, that stinks. They're definitely gonna smell that. We got about 10 and a half feet, should do the trick. It's a lot deeper out here in the center, so we're on this little, basically this little ledge here. That's so where we're gonna drop this thing in, here we go. There it is, we're on the bottom. Can't see on the depth liner, but we're definitely there. Think that ought to work, Lid? I think so. Let's toss our buoy out. Come back for that in the morning when we do some fishing. Fingers crossed. Should have some daddies. Let's head on back to camp, get our fire going, and enjoy a beautiful, beautiful night. I'm excited. 
All right, everybody. Well, to say that today's little fishing endeavor was a frustrating one would be a bit of an understatement. But luckily on this trip, my inner Boy Scout shone through and I came prepared with a plan B. The lovely part is plan B, honestly, is even better than plan A. So this is a recipe I've been wanting to show you guys for quite a while. It's become one of my very new favorites. And if you guys have been following along, you saw on a couple episodes ago, we went out and did a little fishing in the ocean in a very special place and I got some fish in the freezer. So I came prepared, just in case we didn't get the meal that we wanted to, I came prepared with plan B. And the recipe I'm doing tonight is Parmesan crusted rockfish. I'm starving, so are the kids. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna start her off with just a little bit of seasoning. We're gonna go pretty, pretty light and basic on this because that Parmesan is gonna add a ton of the flavor here. That's beautiful rockfish. Oh God, I love this stuff so much. So we're just gonna go with the basic, the old saisoning. Give it a nice coating. The lovely part about this seasoning is it doesn't have a ton of salt. It's mostly just garlic, onion powder, a little bit of seasoned salt, some pepper, parsley, blah, blah, blah. It's a whole lot of good stuff, that's for sure. Next step, like mom always said, half stick of butter never hurt nobody. Half sticker. Into the pan we go. We have fire. All right, that's some hot butter. Into the pan we go. Beautiful. We are looking really good. And the key to this recipe is you really do not want to cook that fish too much. You want to leave it not necessarily rare, but you want to just get that perfect golden brown on each side. You don't want to cook it till it starts flaking apart and falling apart because we're going to add heat to it to get that Parmesan crust on the other side here. So we don't want to overcook it and have it fall apart while we're trying to get that sexy crust over here in the other pan. So we are almost there. It is almost crusty time. Golden goodness. Let's turn that down just a little bit here. Don't want to burn our cheese. We're going to slide over our other nonstick pan here. We're just going to go with some shaved Parmesan. Got the copper kettle here. I'm going to try to make it a fillet shape here. A little fellatio, if you will. And a nice, even coat. And we're going to turn that up a bit. And the key is you want to get this cheese partially melted and kind of searing to the pan so that it doesn't start to stick before you put that fish on. We want to get a good melt before we go throwing anything on the fire here. Oh god. Oh god. Yep. Uh-huh. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we call sexy food right there. Okay, I'm starting to see really nice color from that cheese on the outside of the operation. I'm going to grab my spatula and get ready to pull this off. Here it goes. Give you the close up. Got that nice little crispy cheese. All good and melty. Beautiful piece of rockfish. Let's get our side going. All right, got a nice little brown to it. This stuff is really nice for camping like this because it's already cooked. Normally you'd throw the bag in some hot water or I like to throw it in a pan like this, either cook it over the fire or right here on the stove like we have done here. Great little touch, great addition to a meal. Time to finalize this situation. Oh yeah, that'll make a turd. Well everybody, there you have it. Parmesan crusted rockfish and a little bit of rice pilaf for our Boy Scout Plan B. What a day it's been, what an amazing adventure. And all else aside, we hooked a lot of fish today. We just couldn't bring any to the bank, and you know what? Sometimes that's how it goes. But luckily, we have this. The Creator has blessed us another day with some amazing fish and another wonderful meal. It's time to go sit by the fire, enjoy our meal, love on our dogs. What a great night.
Well, top of the morning to you, everybody. What a glorious night that was. It was really pretty and clear all night. The stars were incredible. But the weather has definitely moved in. Got a bit of a chill to it today. We're out of the shorts and out of the chacos, into the pants and the extra tubs. And we're gonna go see if we can actually feed ourselves for breakfast. So glad that we got to clean up this camp, you guys. It is such a prettier place now that we're leaving it. And once again, like I said in the beginning of this video, that's how you treat Mother Nature. If you see a mess, clean it up. And most of all, just don't leave a mess, everybody. But it was a great night. I'm really glad we brought a backup plan for food because I was not the fisherman I thought I could be. But our fingers are crossed. We got our crawdad trap that we dropped last night. We got camp all cleaned up. So now it's time to mosey on over to our trap and see if we can be a self-sustaining fisherman out here and feed ourselves a little crawdad breakfast. Come on, dogs. Ah. Ooh, she's a little cold. Ah, there we go. Oh, not quite. Old white never fails. Crawdaddies, here we come. All right, there it is. There's our crawdad bucket. What do you think, Lid? You think they're in there? Here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. Come on, breakfast. Where's Jordan? A complete lame ass fisherman this week. Might be a first. I've always done pretty good here on Stay Fishy of catching a meal. Let's hope this isn't the demise. The demise. No breakfast. <sighs> Damn it. Well, everybody, breakfast today was not provided by Mother Nature. So we headed out, and all I have to say is, thank goodness for blended coffees. <sighs> well, that's a good cup of joe. Today was an incredible boat camping adventure. Awesome weather, beautiful scenery, and some really fun fishing, although the catch and cooks didn't really work out, but there's always next time. So until next week, everybody, same time, same place, you all stay fishy, we'll see you out there. <laughs>